What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how to expand 1 minus x plus x squared to the power of 4. In order to expand this one, I'm gonna basically separate two terms, 1 minus x as the first term and x squared as the second term. So when we do that, I'm gonna have 4c0, 1 minus x to the power of 4 times x squared to the power of 0 plus 4c1 1 minus x to the power of 3, x squared to the power of 1, plus 4c2, 1 minus x to the power of 2, x squared to the power of 2, plus 4c3, 1 minus x to the power of 1, x squared to the power of 3, and finally 4c4, 1 minus x to the power of 0, x squared to the power of 4. So as you see here, the exponent of the first term is decreasing and the exponent of the second term is increasing. Now let's evaluate it. For evaluating of these terms, basically what we need to do, we need to use either the formula or we can use the Pascal triangle. Pascal triangle is going to say that we have five coefficients, which are 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So the first one is 1. x squared to the power of 0 is 1. So we have 1 minus x to the power of 4 plus this one is going to be 4 times x squared times 1 minus x to the power of 3 plus 4c2 is 6 1 minus x squared x to the power of 4 plus this one is 4 1 minus x times x to the power of 6 plus 4c4 is 1, 1 minus x to the power of 0 is 1, x squared to the power of 4 is going to be x to the power of 8. Now, in order to simplify it, we need to find out the value of these two. We need to expand these two as well. So the first one is 1 minus x to the power of 4. When we expand it, it's going to be 1 times 1 to the power of 4 x to the power of 0 minus 4 times 1 to the power of 3 x to the power of 1 plus 6 1 to the power of 2 x to the power of 2 minus 4 1 to the power of 1 x 3 and finally 1 times 1 x to the power of 4. So when you simplify it, it's going to be 1 minus 4x plus 6x squared minus 4x cubed plus x to the power of 4. So that's the expansion of this term in here. What about 1 minus x cubed? That's going to be 1 times 1 to the power of 3 x to the power of 0 minus 3 times 1 to the power of 2, x to the power of 1, plus 3, 1 to the power of 1, x to the power of 2, minus 1, 1 to the power of 0, x to the power of 3. So, when you simplify it, that's going to be 1 minus 3x plus 3x squared minus x cubed. So, that's going to be, let's put them into the original one, so it's going to be 1 minus 4x plus 6x squared minus 4x cubed plus x to the power 4. Here, you have to multiply all these terms by 4x squared. So it's going to be 4x squared minus 12x cubed plus 12x to the power 4 minus 4x to the power 5. Here, you have 6x to the power of 4 minus 6x to the power of 6 minus 12x to the power of 5. And here you have 4x to the power of 6 minus 4x to the power of 7. So now let's simplify it. Here, this one is missing, so x to the power of 8. 
So when you simplify it, you have 1. Then you have negative 4x. And... It's going to be negative 4x. Here we have 6x squared and 4x squared. Nothing else. So it's 10x squared. For x cubed, we have negative 4, negative 12 is negative 16, so that's going to be negative 16x cubed. x to the power 4, we have 1 in here, we have 12 in here, 13, 6 here, 19, so 19x to the power 4. What about x to the power 5? Negative 4 in here, negative 12 in here. It's going to be negative 16 x to the power 5 x to the power 6 and 6 here negative 6 and positive 4 is going to be negative 2 x to the power 6 one more time here negative 6 here we have positive 4 that's going to be negative 2 what about 7 we have negative 4 x to the power of 7 and plus x to the power of 8 so that's basically how we simplify this 1 minus x plus x squared to the power of 4 i hope you enjoyed this video please leave me a comment if you have any questions thank you for watching and have a great day